This was an idea that has now become a reality. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm here in SF. Boom, there it is. Gonna create some new work. I'm taking you with me. All right, so here I am. I'm in the forest, almost to the beach. It's pretty cold here in San Francisco. It says it was gonna rain, but no sprinkles yet. Uh, in this edition, what I'm gonna focus on is acceptance. So it's not necessarily a purely good thing or a purely bad thing, but I'm gonna just quickly cover both. The positive of acceptance. For me personally, I've learned to accept myself as being the great artist that I've always wanted to be. That this gift, this energy, this soul that's inside of me is actually really amazing. And uh, I just really can't put it into words, but it's more of like, I see now what I have to do to kind of keep going on the journey ahead. I've always kind of been like, oh, well, if I make one more work or if I wait, make one more, then I'll accept myself. Or if I get enough validation or likes on social media, then I'll accept myself. But really there's been this thing is as I'm reflecting on all the work that I've been doing that I've just been accepting myself and like I can confidently say that I am one of the greats yes I'm young and I still have a lot of things to do and a lot of struggles to to get over but I am that person I accept myself negative the negative part of acceptance is most people really aren't who you think they are we have these grand expectations of them and we want them to just deliver on these promises that we've set for them but they never will and I think if you can accept that then you'll start to see people for who they actually are like kind of lower your expectations a little bit and then you'll see that yes I say that I'm amazing but this video might not be Martin Scorsese or some great film just accept it accept me and I just think that if you could accept especially your loved ones with all their flaws you might uh, be a little bit happier when you're around them so I need to accept that I really only have an hour right now to make this work I'm just gonna kind of I have the vision in my head what I want to do and I wish I had a more profound statement to finish this off, but let's go to the beach. All right, we're here, down at the beach. Birds everywhere. There's actually nobody here. Hello, hello, hello. There's nobody here. Just me and this guy right here. Isn't that beautiful? I think one thing I would say too is that a lot of times when I come down here to make some new work, I'm so caught up in my head of like trying to execute an idea that it's just like kind of seeing the birds and feeling the waves and just kind of just absorbing it. Like it's not about the content, it's about me right here being happy. So a lot of times I get asked, not a lot of times, basically all the time I get asked, how do you choose the rock? Okay, well, I usually reply, do you choose the rocks or do the rocks choose you?
So I'm gonna continue this process of just kind of selecting rocks for the next few minutes and then just kind of put the camera down. I'm gonna go with the flow. A lot of the problems that we have in our world are a sign that we don't accept each other, that you know we we fight each other. Like the war that we have is a stem of not accepting. So if there's one thing I can leave you with. It's to accept yourself. And when you've accepted yourself, try and accept those around you. And when you can accept those around you, try and accept the world. And when you can accept the world, try and accept the cosmos, everything, every star, every single atom in this universe. I wonder if you can accept it as it is. Peace.